Hi friends, welcome to this class. So in that class we will discuss about the structure elucidation of PGE1, right? So in this class let us continue with that, right? So we we took this PGE1 to this when we add CH to N2, it will convert this COH to ester COO CH3. So in all the cases, so in first places also we got this CO80 when we add NOH and we hit. We, it will happen E1 CB elimination. We expect pi bond here because H and OH has been went off as water molecule. So pi bond we expect here, but because of heating condition, isomerization happens that is 1 3 sigma tropic rearrangement and we will get pi bond here. So with this first reaction, I will get this compound. I can call it as A and the name of this compound is PG278. What is this 278? When I did UV spectroscopy, at 278 nanometer this compound absorbed the radiation so this is my a compound that is pg 278 and the same thing with second reaction i took pg e1 to that i added ch2 n2 so first step so i got ester here in second step what i did addition of hydrogen hydrogen in presence of platinum so same addition happens so this pi bond is there right this pi bond is became sigma bond right because pi bond here addition of hydrogen took place right and uh, when i and third step same in your chain when i did the heating condition so here i got this one and the, this is pg 237 it was 2 278 and it is 237 this is my compound b right and also in third reaction i took this pg e1 so ch2 n2 but here i didn't do this uh, addition of hydrogen that is uh, redu uh, reduction I didn't do but directly I took this acetic anhydride AC2O and heated I got this compound and the name is PG220 here OH was there right here OAC became because H is replaced by this acetyl group CH3CO group so OAC I can call and here the pi bond instead of coming here elimination even see the elimination happened this H and OH happened and no isomerization simply I got this pi bond here so here no isomerization no isomerization in other cases isomerization happened 1 comma 3 sigma tropic rearrangement you can call or isomerization and NOH and heating condition leads to E1 CB elimination here also E1 CB elimination and here also acetic anhydride heating E1 CB elimination so we got these three compounds one is PG 278 PG 237 and PG 220 so this is all the story what till we discussed right and the next step so these reactions were happened from one step to two steps right in next step what we do we do ozonolysis so what happens in ozonolysis right so let me do with this compound B that is PG 237 ozonolysis we should know that simple ozonolysis right Whenever we have ozonolysis here, O3 molecule we add, it will break this pi bond. What happens? Here RR is there, right? So CH3, CH3, this pi bond you will get ketone here. And here also this pi bond is broken. So oxygen here, here CH3 is there and this side H is there. <laughs> Sorry. So H is there. So we will get aldehyde. Here we got aldehyde and here I got ketone. Instead of adding only O3, if I add to the same compound, if I add O3 in presence of some many oxidizing agent like H2O2, then what happens? See here. So here ketone will remain as it is. This pi bond is broken, double bond O ketone. This side CH3 will remain as it is, double bond O. But here H is there, right? But since because of this oxidizing agent, it will give oxygen. So here instead of H, I will get OH here. So initially I used to get ketone and aldehyde but here I will get ketone and acid. This thing you should remember right whenever we have this oxidizing agent. So uh, if you see the videos I think I have done on ozonolysis with oxidizing agent with reducing agent we will get alcohol right there you will get it right. So this is basic information you should know so that to understand these reactions which I am going to write it now right. So I will do with 237. So what I will do? Ozonolysis in presence of oxidizing agent like peroxide in acetic acid solution. Right. So this will add oxygen. So I won't get aldehyde. I will get directly acid. Right. So 
so ozone analysis means this is the only pi bond so i have to break here if i break here what i'll get so this reaction i'm going to write it above so here c c double bond o was there and here pi bond is broken double bond o other things remain as it is one two three so one two three and c o o c s three right and here what happens other things here this bond is there simply i will keep it like this and same like this and here double bond o is broken so i will show this double bond o and other things these things remain as it is so it is ch2 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 and ch2 and here oh is there because the reaction is happening with acetic acid oac i can call all right because the reaction is happening in presence of acetic acid so oac i can form right so this compound i'll get so we have oxidizing agent h2o2 right so here breaking of bond happens so the this is one to di ketone so this bond can be easily broken right so this bond can be easily broken so what we will get so you can see as how nicely we will get so coome is there coome other things 1 2 3 4 5 6 5 and coh cooh this compound we will get and other compound see here this uh, it will again become see this became coh this will also become coh so can i write like this co oh right other things ch2 ch2 uh, i'll write like this co oh here so ch2 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 and next comes ketone group co and ch2 ch2 and oac and 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 right this compound i got so when i did ozone analysis i got these two product right so if you count the number of uh, thing the name of this compound they gave as so see just you have to count from acid only preference 1 2 3 4 so it is 4 keto they wrote it as 4 keto 7 this is 7 position 5 6 7 7 hydroxy if since it is oac 7 acetoxy acetoxy and number of you count the number of carbon and that is acid oic acid we can call so number of carbon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 means do deca do means to more than deca right do deca noic acid so this is the compound they got right so when they did this degradation using ozone analysis that to oxidizing agent in presence of acetic acid they got these two product right the name of this compound they have not written right so it is acid group and ester group is there so these two compounds and they counted the number of carbon they got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 here 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so they confirmed that protonates have got 20 carbon right when you are like this compound they have ozone analysis they did they knew that pi bond is broken in ozone analysis of its oxidizing agent so they expected the product and they got the product so they determined this might be the structure from this they got the structure of this pge1 in this way they determined the structure of pge1 so so this topic is structure elucidation of pge1 right so this i done with this pg237 right so similarly we shall do with this pg278 now what what happens what are the products we will get different products we will get because both the uh, compounds are different right so what happens let us see so this is pg278 so what i will do ozone analysis with oxidizing agent h2o2 in acetic acid solution right so this is the solution we make use so here this pi bond is broken and here pi bond one more pi bond is there so there is chance to break break this bond also right so see what what all the things we will get so before breaking this pi bond first let me break this pi bond only so what i will get so let me write it above so if i break here i will get double bond o c double bond o other things remain as it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 c o o yeah me right ch3 or me i can write and other things remain as it is co here because c ch2 ch2 co and here c 
what happens like this pi bond is there yeah i got oh here right since i am adding this oxidizing agent in presence of acidic acid there is all chance to break this bond also if i break this bond what i will get i won't get only here h is there i won't get only aldehyde because of this oxidizing agent i will get acid group that is c double bond o here o comes h that was given by this peroxide right other things since it is a happening in presence of acetic acid instead of oh i will get oac so here oac right this compound i will get right and one more compound here the bond of breaking can happen and i'll get this acid also right so i'll get this acid also COOME and here I'll have COOH right and also there is possibility since this bond is breaking right so I will get this acid also and here also here also possibility is there of breaking so many things so many possibilities right so if it breaks here so along with this products uh, one more product see here I can write like this CO this bond is broken so it has uh, OH here so here CH2 CH2 CO this bond is also broken right so CO OH is there here right because this became acid so at heating condition you know this uh, acid this uh, single bond is there right it will come here and this will go as C double bond O C double bond O carbon dioxide CO2 C double bond O C double bond O it will go out as C double acid group and this H will come here so what I will get CO OH here and CH2 CH2 CO H, H will come here but because of this oxidizing agent H2O2 instead of aldehyde I will get OH acid that O comes from this uh, this uh, H2O2 right so what is this this is nothing but my the name succinic acid it is this is succinic acid so succinic acid I will get and this uh, this thing I will get right so the name of this compound is nothing but uh, ester this is ester of suberic acid here COH COH is there means suberic acid we call right now it is ester of suberic acid because one acid is converted to ester before only ester of suberic acid suberic acid whereas this COH CH2 CH2 COH is nothing but succinic acid right and I uh, will get this more product so after studying all these things they counted the number of carbons here number of carbons here and number of carbon here when they added they got only 19 carbon they missed out one carbon where that one carbon went it went as carbon dioxide it evolved out and went to the atmosphere as gas carbon dioxide is a gas you know right so it went to the atmosphere right so this is how uh, what happens when we do ozonolysis with 278 so we studied for 237 we studied for 278 now we are left with only 220 right pg 220 right let us see that what happens when we do ozonolysis for pg 220 right so how nicely simply we understood all those things right so pg 220 so ozonolysis means this is the only pi bond so that will be broken so what happens i have c double bond over here just you can observe it here i have got the structure so see what I, you will get pi bond is broken co here since here h is there but with the oxidizing agent it becomes oh right i hope you are observing right and again here co and here h is there but oh it will happen because of oxidizing agent peroxide other things remain, remain same and here like this COO ME right and here it will be one here it will be OAC right so this is what we will get right so ketone group COH group if we heat it carbon dioxide is evolved and this becomes aldehyde but because of oxidizing agent that is H2O to peroxide it becomes again acid group right so I can call uh, right like this so here carbon dioxide is evolved and I'll get CO OH and CO OH right 
COO ME and here OAC right so this is how beautifully we did all right so this is how the reaction happens when ozone analysis in presence of oxidizing agent so after uh, they got the uh, these compounds degraded product from that they concluded this uh, pg37 pg278 pg220 from that they concluded the structure of this pge1 that which i have written here so this is the structure of pge1 in this way they concluded the structure of pge1 so in next class so they got the structure of pge1 right so how did how how should they synthesize it in lab that they did so that uh, ej core synthesized this uh, pge1 in the lab that we shall see in next class till then take care and have a great day